So a lot of times I get uh, text messages from uh, interns and residents about, hey, can you look at this cytology for me? And a lot of times I want to be hopeful, but if you send me a picture of all lysed cells, it's very difficult for me to provide you a relevant diagnosis. So how I deal with this problem is um, I offer them a session where I teach them how to take good pictures using their cell phone from the microscope. However, um, I would like to assess how much they learn in this process. So I create a Google form and have this QR code so they can scan it and go to the, the web page. And I ask them, um, so I hand them, uh, each person have one blood smear and I ask them to take a pre-session picture and upload it to the Google form. So after they done it, uh, then I start to talk about um, my teaching content. So I talk about first, you need to find the optimal spot to take a picture. For example, this is a cytology smear. This is very blue. So you know that the smear is super cellular. However, if you jump, jump right into the middle of the smear, this is what you will be seeing. This is too crowded and I can even appreciate uh, individual cells. So you need to go to a better location like here. Right now things are looking better, but still pretty crowded. So for a slide as thick as this one, the optimal location will actually be at the periphery. This is where you can get the best picture out of cytology. So once they learn uh, where to look at on the cytology smear, then I teach them how to take good pictures. Uh, so I teach them it is very important to do it horizontally. Don't do it vertically because that's usually more difficult. And then the other thing is they can consider to zoom in first before taking the picture so that uh, the screen, uh, the image can fill the whole screen of the cell phone. And I teach them step by step. So first using your hand to stabilize your phone and your microscope and start from the far, far away location where you only see a uh, spot of light. And as you move closer, you can start to appreciate uh, the image under the microscope. And ultimately you will find a right spot where uh, the image in your microscope filled the whole screen of the cell phone. And notice that at this point, there is still some distance between the microscope and the cell phone. So by teaching them working through this step-by-step uh, -step process, they're actually getting um, much better in taking pictures. And then I ask them to do the same thing in the same field, but using this new technology they just learned to take, to take the, to upload the post session pictures. So this is the um, striking comparison between the pre and post. Um, before they take this course, they don't know that they can zoom in first. And obviously there are some blurry at the periphery of the picture, but post session picture is very good. So I can, using this technology, I can immediately receive feedback from the students and knowing that they are now all masters in uh, 